What up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Nerd Gen Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, we finally got what we have been waiting for for almost, what, over a decade? <laughs> we finally got the Black Adam trailer. And I'm very interested in hearing your thoughts, Brian, because... Although I was looking forward to seeing this trailer, I wasn't too impressed. Why? She's more the rock. She's, she's more the rock. We got some of this. I like the new shots. I'm not necessarily sold on Hawkman just yet. Uh, Cause looks aren't everything. Um, I'm definitely interested in Dr. Fate. Some of the stuff you saw there was pretty cool. Looked, the colors look really dope. But I, I still don't know what this movie's about. I have some context, but I did I still don't know what he's facing. I, I don't know. Um, and again, it's just more of the rock to me. Um, we saw some flying sequences. Hopefully they save the best for last because so what I saw wasn't really revolutionary in terms of visuals to me. It was pretty dope with some of the things you saw. But it wasn't like, oh my God, I can't wait to see this thing. I'm not there yet. Brian. What did you think of the trailer? Um, and do you think this movie is going to hit a billion dollars? I got to ask that question. Yeah, look, I've been in the camp that it has no chance. I'm still in the camp that it has no chance. Uh, I feel like the numbers are increasing on my side as it looks like Doctor Strange is not even going to get to a billion dollars. It's going to get close, but it's going to be around 900 million and change. You know, the Batman just short of 800 million. If they can't get there, there's no way that this movie, out of the gate, as the intro to a character that doesn't have the same cachet that Batman does, or quite honestly, that a mainline MCU character does, is going to get to a billion dollars in its debut. I just, I see no chance of that. I don't care how dedicated The Rock's enormous fan base is going to be to this. And I agree with you. I found myself unbalanced, underwhelmed by what I saw, which is not to say that it was bad. I don't think that's fair to the trailer. Mm -hmm. It just fits into that boat of a lot of things we feel like we kind of have seen before. And, you know, there's been some additional news that's come, like news articles profiling some of the visual effects and the work they've done. And I gotta be honest, I just didn't really see the difference. Like, it, not that it looked bad. I just didn't yeah. see the quantum leap from, say, the way Zack Snyder shot Henry Cavill flying in Man of Steel versus the way Dwayne Johnson looks in the shot that appears to be stolen from Iron Man 1, where he's between the two planes. Like, yeah. it's not that it looks bad. It just doesn't look revolutionary different. Now, maybe we'll feel different if it's on a giant screen. Like, if it's on an IMAX screen, maybe there's something there that you can't see on your on your phone or your or your tablet but um i just the, the other thing like visually that struck me was the the color like the color palette like just the feel of it still reminded me of the snyderverse i don't know if you've got any of those echoes like there's something about the graininess and like the way the colors are mixed together and even down to black adam's kind of the the, the almost like the sculpting of the costume that was very reminiscent of the way Zack Snyder framed and built his characters. And so I thought that was kind of odd because I just felt like this was more likely to really try to break new ground and go in its own direction. And I almost felt like, you know, like that moment where Black Adam is, you know, shooting lightning and destroying the side of a cliff. I'm like, that felt kind of straight out of Zack's catalog, you know? And I was like, oh, it, I was surprised to be echoed back to that as much as I felt like these two minutes did. This movie has, I think, um, gotten inspired by perhaps that film or Zack Snyder's style. Looks a little bit reddish to me almost. Um, but it had Black Panther vibes as well. I don't know if you got that. I thought the opening shot of the plane. That was oh, black. like the approach to wherever they are. Yeah. Okay. I hear. I hear what you're saying. Like the approach. Hawkman going down that hole, just like Black Panther did 
um, in that opening action sequence in, mm-hmm. in, in, in this film. So, again, I, 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 once you mentioned it in terms of the Iron Man, the two planes and stuff like that, I, again, this movie is borrowing from a lot of other films. Um, I don't know if that'll work for it, the movie. I Because th- usually when I see these films that Marvel has done, um, I'm more excited for stuff I have never seen before. Um, and then and then make it more memorable. Um, and and I'll, I'll give a quick example. Like, Den of Thieves, to me, was uh, similar to... what's What movie? There was Heat. A movie. Heat. It's a literal ripoff of Heat. Like if 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 then if these came out first and not and not heat, then we would have been like, yo, this movie is dope. But because it's so it too much reminded me of this other movie, I like yo, you straight up copied this. But I don't know if Black Panther is gonna be like that. I mean, sorry, Black Adam is gonna be like that. But um, I'm still not convinced about how good this movie is gonna be. I want it to be good, but I feel like it's. I know I texted you, Brian, the other day. I, I want this movie to fit. <laughs> That's harsh, but okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite in that boat, but okay. I just, uh, and nothing against The Rock. I I just think his influence over stuff is just too, it's, 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 to me, it's just all about him. So that's just my feeling towards him. I know what people did, are gonna hate it, but whatever. Yeah. So, what did you think? So, what did you think of? You know, we get these little snippets. We still don't totally know the story that gets us to from point to point. But the characterization of Black Adam's origin in this trailer was more sympathetic than I expected. If that makes sense, like he's portrayed as more like he's lost his family. It's his second lease on life. You know, he's reincarnated as sort of as this Egyptian god, and but it's it it went out of its way to emphasize like what he's lost, and I guess I kind of expected the Rock to go more, like I said, more with like the corporate champion, like more with like a, a harder edge to the character. And this seemed to be playing more to the heroic side than the anti-heroic side, even though Pierce Brosnan's narration is meant to tell you that Black Adam has clearly made a lot of questionable choices since gaining these powers. Again, I feel like The Rock is taking the character in a new direction. Um, to me, from what I've seen of him in the past and reading the comics, I, I'm I'm not going to be here to say that I know completely about Black Adam and his lore and all that other stuff. But when I've seen him, he's usually been the guy that nobody really wants to deal with, and he's usually a bad guy. I ask what I know him to be. Um, he has his ways, he has his code, or whatever the case may be. Yes, he's been an anti-hero before. But to me, if you wanted to make Black Adam, you, uh, Black Adam, the way I would have made Black Adam, I would make him the, the 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 guy that nobody wants to deal with, and he has his own agenda, whatever. The 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 evil guy, and sort of, you know, um, as time goes by, you know, tell his story for him to make that possible redemption um, scene, or whatever the case may be. I just think, again, The Rock is doing what he wants to do with this character. And I don't know if you read the tagline. The world wanted a hero and they got black. I don't know what it was. Everybody seems to agree that it was hard. So I I, I don't know, Brian. What does the what is Black Adam going to be at the end of this film? Yeah, I don't. That's what I'm saying. I feel like The Rock is as he as he progresses through these roles too many times i feel like he's converging to the same spot like the voice he's choosing for black adam is kind of the same voice that we hear in in a lot of his other heroic roles which is a shame because he has more in the library uh, than that 
that's what I mean by like when, you know, he, when he was the corporate champion, there was an inflection to his monologues that was different than when he became the, the baby face leader of WWF back then. So I, I was a little surprised, even though I know it's the rock, I was a little surprised to see it. I was even thinking he might pull, I don't know if you remember his movie faster. Faster, faster. Oh, faster. Not that, really. Yeah. yeah, that's actually a pretty good early rock action movie. It's maybe like 12 or 13 years. He doesn't say much, but he's very much anti-hero in that movie. He is really badass, hard edge, like a killer, like throughout that movie. But you're kind of rooting for him because you're supposed to root for him. I thought that would port well into this character. Didn't see it. You know, like that moment where the 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 bad guy's like breaking a crowbar on his head like that's played for laughs and i was kind of like i i don't know that that's the route we want to go here like that that's gonna be the biggest way to sell this persona to the world so i don't know maybe that's what the trailer chose to show but i i gotta be it came across a little soft gotta be honest like given what i expect of this character that scene where the guy hits him with a crowbar reminded me of the first Superman when Superman was on the boat, uh, uh, those bank robbers, and one of them sneaked behind him and hit him with a crowbar. And he yep. said, bad vibrations and, you know, but I don't know what this movie is going to be, Brian. I don't know what this movie is going to be. We also don't have a sense of, like I said, we still don't have a sense of like the driving narrative. Who's really opposing him? Like, is it just he's against the justice society and then he's with them for some other reason but um you know i, I like what i've like the little bits of hawkman i i like the visuals I, I don't know about the performance yet but i like how he looks in the costume i like how dr fate looks you know that little bit of fate effects that we got for the first that time was pretty cool. i like how adam smasher looks they added a little bit of jazz to his suit that i have no complaints cool. with the jsa right now i just want to see more i, I just you know or we always see just, the rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we see is the I, Yeah, I, yo, listen. I get the rock is popular, but come on, man. It's like, come on. Come on. I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's funny you say that. This is a movie where it, if the if there was more trust. I don't know if that's the right word. There was more trust between The Rock, the studio, and the audience. You could argue that the best way for The Rock to play this would almost be like the shark in Jaws, right? To be a presence but not seen for a lot of the movie and then kind of to be unleashed at the right time. Whereas if if, if you're right and this movie is, you know, if he's on screen 90 plus percent of the time, that may not serve the character best in the long run. Yeah, so I don't know, guys. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the Black Adam trailer. Are you excited for the movie? Do you think it's gonna make a billion dollars? Um, yeah, let us know in the comment section below. Um, Brian says that this is in no way gonna make a billion dollars. I gotta, I, I'm gonna, my over under for this movie is 500 million, half. Wow, I'm gonna say six. Okay. Six, I'm, I'm gonna give it a range from six to seven. No it more. It would still me. be, and to be clear, it would make money at that yeah. level. I just think people gotta, people gotta look at what's making money out there and understand what the expectations are gonna be. And, and also, like I said, like this thing has two weeks to make bank because Wakanda Forever is coming after that. And that's it. Yeah. I don't think that two weeks. is going to be good enough to, to be like, yeah. no. Because look, look, look at what's happening with Top Gun Maverick, right? In the sense of this has become the runaway smash relative to expectations. But look, Jurassic World is coming this weekend, right? So this Top Gun Maverick is going to take a hit no matter what, but it made its bank. Those first two weekends were so big and so far ahead of expectations. I don't know if it quite gets to a billion, but it's going to be like probably the highest grossing movie of Tom Cruise's career, but it's because it got those big first two weekends. For Black Adam to get anywhere close, it's got to be 
probably 400 million global first weekend and then have good word of mouth and be like 250 the second weekend. Like that's, I don't see it. I don't see any chance that this movie is doing that. And it's not, and when that Black Panther will come forever, a trailer comes out. That's going to be the most watched trailer in history, I think, because of the mystique and the intrigue around that movie. We still, we have to have a discussion about that, but um, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think about Black Adam and its chances of being the Rock's billion dollar film. Um, that's it for us today, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gym Report.